everyone, it's Jen and Sam from Stitchcraft Create. Now we're talking about sewing a lot at the moment because we've got our sewing competition going on. I've made a bag recently. Has. There's lots of new fabrics. Everybody's around. sewing. <laughs> and Sin's quite new to sewing. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> so we're all trying to encourage her with sewing. So I've been bugging Jenny a lot. <laughs> but one of the things, um, because, you know, there's, there's lots of inspiration out there, um, we're very lucky here, you know, we have access to kind of lots of projects and things that we can have a go at, but um, one of the things for some reason I was struggling with is, is um, choosing fabrics to, to put together. And, Funnily weirdly, enough, <laughs> I found this book the other day, which is called How to Choose Fabrics. Which, if you're new to sewing and working with fabric, I think is a really great resource mm. because it's just got 350 fabric swatches and combinations in it. So it's tons of things to inspire you in here. And basically, the book is split up with pages like this, which show you different fabrics, how they work together, and how to pick out the colours. Um, there are also projects in here. So this one actually shows, I hope you can see, um, how these fabrics have been used together. Yeah, for, so for me, project. for me, this is a really easy one. So this is this is the one that Jenny recommend that I that I start with. Yeah. So there's there's um it says there's twenty simple projects in here. So there's things like bags and um, table mats and great things to start with if you're new to sewing. Mm -hmm. And then you can use the ideas for color combinations, and it also shows you different trims and embellishments and things that go with it. So it's really great for colours, um, combining different fabrics and trims so that you can make a really nice looking project and not something that looks a bit garish or the colours don't quite match. <laughs> well that was my worry. <laughs> <laughs> There's actually some cross stitch charts in here as well, so if you like cross stitch, a lot of the projects have little touches of embroidery and things on it and there's um, some cross stitch charts at the back, which if you're into cross stitch, they're really mm, useful as well. Definitely. I think it's just quite inspiring. You, you know, you can kind of, you it know, you, you may inspiring. not have thought of um, putting that embellishment together with that fabric or that colour um, and design a fabric with, with another one because there's some, you know, tips on geometric, like matching geometric yeah, matching um, patterns. designs. And, um, and they're split up into these themes as well. So um, there's one called Nature and one called Deco. So it's kind of. And like one called Sweet Treats. One called Sweet Treats. <laughs> so it's probably different types of colours that work well together for a different kind of style. So there's something, there's going to be something in here that appeals to you. This is probably my favourite sort of colour yeah. range. Yeah, yeah, greens. But um, yeah, yeah, that's the Sweet Treats one. So completely different kind of colour palette. Yeah. There's some tips in the back as well for, st for um, storing fabrics and there's a directory of fabric swatches too so there's absolutely tons of information okay. in here really so I'm going to give this to Sin uh, and if you're new to sewing as well then have, have a look at this book too. Yeah. Uh, that's all from us for today. Mm -hmm. See you soon. Bye! Bye.